Afis playing against Diamantfeld. Now the Villa takes to the field on their home turf. Boys from Kimberley, the men in blue, Diamantfeld were school. Not necessarily cause for concern in this match, but nonetheless cause for concern going forward for Dieter Krefer, who can expect a lot tougher opposition than what we are seeing right now. There's Mala at the back, the number nine for the Vitbilla, taking it up. He had options, he didn't use them. Sets up nonetheless a decent phase ball. Taken on up front, there's by the number 13, Christian de Toy! We see the replay here, close quarters. Just I mean, how he can get through five of the biggest men in the pack for Diamantfeld. Muller at the back. He gives to the big number eight to freeze up Quinn Norkia. Beautiful step inside. One on one. Norkia in the corner. Great. It was dazzling was his feet. Outside backs. Cut inside. Not back themselves to beat a player on the outside for pace. This wasn't necessarily beating for pace. Just a step. Got his body position low. And from there, it was difficult to stop. Well worked at the back that they're still on their feet. Wonderful work by Fermiolan who's pumping his leg. He needs to go down, set up the ruck at least. Number two has to roll away. Number two has to roll away in white. Afis for the first time this entire game are under pressure. And there we have it. The big number eight who has beautifully put the ball down. Just in time has Stefan Swartz. He was never going to be stopped so close to the line there. Bjorn from Vade takes it up. A little chip. Enterprising play. He recovers. Never stop Try working. time. Try time. I bet you. There we go. That's what pressure does. Swart in the end, unable to withstand it. He does it again and runs hard. He By most accounts, Swart had had that ball covered, but he just looked up. He didn't need to worry about him. He, in the end, it was a comprehensive victory for Afis playing against Diamantfeld. 83 points to 10, the game being stopped some nine full minutes before time by the referee. And it has to be said, when all is said and done, the game of rugby has been the winner. Until next time, folks, wherever you are tuning in on SS Live, good afternoon and goodbye.